Alright YouTube, Brute Works here with TGN Art and today I'll be showing you how to create some really good looking text basically like grunge text in Cinema 4D with a neon outline um, if you saw me last tutorial tutorial on Photoshop um, I used this text here, well this is the text I'll be showing you how to make today with the nice grunge and neon look on um, i also done another one for a background and that's that text there so let's get into it I'm just using my uh, light setup that I've custom built myself so if you've got one you can use that or I'm sure you'll be able to find some in like graphics packs if you download them but this is my one I'm using so first of all you want to go up to more more graph more text go down here and put it in the center well middle and then for this tutorial I'm just going to write broke um, keep the depth on 20 and the font I'll be using is the same font I used last time on the text which is Planet Cosmos I just resize it to 150 there and that's the basic set setup right there um, and now I'm gonna create the textures so double click on this bottom bit here to create a new texture and then double click on the texture there and I'll make it just off black because I'm going to add a texture overlay on it so if you click this button here you can load a texture on to the uh, to the matte object so I'm going to use this one here no and I'll just put the minimum strength to about 35 no I'll put it to 40 um, I'm going to add a reflection I'll put the brightness down to about 10 and then if you click on this here it'll come up with a little option tab so I'm gonna put a Fresnel on and I'll put that down to about 35 so it gives it a nice shiny look um, I think that'll do for the the main text so I'll just drag on the text here and it'll go up there and again I'm gonna create a new uh, material down here double click on the new material there I want to make the colour about a light blue that'll do for now um, I'm also going to do a luminance take that put it down to about 35 click on it there to change the colour put it on bluish there we go um, obviously you can't really tell the difference but once you click on reflection and put the reflection down to about 10 you can see it gives it a nice smooth look and again just like on the text you click on the drop down box there and click on Fresnel and put it at 35 and it gives you a nice glowing texture there obviously you can add glow as well like that but just for this tutorial I'm not going to add glow for the render so unt I'll untick that and there we go so if I drag that over onto there as you can see the whole text has gone blue so I've got this texture and this texture on that uh, MoGraph text here so you want to click on that blue text there and go on the selection area and type in capital R 1 and as you can see on the screen it's gone back to the main texture which is the one on the front well this one here just does the outlines of the like the letters for you but first before I pause it you need to click back onto this first layer here the grunge layer go down to projection click on that and it'll show up, come up with a pop box click frontal and that should do that that's alright for that one so yeah I'll just pause the video now and I'll show you sorry before I pause the video I forgot uh, one main thing you need to go on, uh, click on the text object click on caps go down to fill a cap for this start bit and then again on end and click on fill a cap as well now I normally set it around 2 and 2 for each one then for the steps which just basically does the smoothness I'll put 50 and 50 for both so as you can see now it gives you the, the blue outline on the text so I'll pause it now and I'll render it out for you right so there we go there's the uh, text rendered out for you like that looks pretty good so far but I'm just going to mess about with it right now just go on there onto the more graph text hold control and drag down so it gives you another layer and again so it gives you another layer 
and just drag them above each other to about there and actually I want to make another one there we go right so if you click on this little icon here it'll give you a view like this so I'm going to click on the more text number one drag it out a bit more text two drag it out a bit more text three and drag it behind that one so now as you can see it gives you uh, text some depth like that with the uh, stuff on and uh, so basically that's about it for this tutorial you just render that out and it'll look basically like the text I showed you here um, I hope you find it useful this is Brit Works with TGN Art see you later